And so for the way of special rounds here, this guy was the first one I pulled. I was so excited. Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and this is the very first part of my what I got for Briarfest, Briarfest haul. So these are the models I got for my first day at Briarfest, which is Wednesday. I also did a vlog kind of for Wednesday if you want to watch that video as well. I'll put the information for that in the description or whatever. But here are the models I got today so far on Wednesday. I am trying to be very careful and not buy too many models because I don't want to have to ship any home. And so I, I feel like I did a pretty good job today with that and I got some really great deals on models. So let's go through them. First, I got my very first Briarfest purchase this year is this Great Dane doggy. He is super cute. He was $10 and I, I just really liked him. I, I've been kind of wanting a little bit more Briar dogs. I have quite a few already, but I don't have this Great Dane one and that was a good price for him. So that is him. Super adorable. I really like him a lot. I got a stable mate. So some of you may or may not know. There's a chaser of the Spirit Riding Free stable mates that is this one, but with a boar paint and stuff on it. Anyway, I haven't, I haven't actually even seen that one around at all yet so far. But this guy is just the regular one, but he was $3, and I wanted to get him anyway, so I did. So there he is. He's cute, and he's got little, little eyebrows. Then I also got Marcus here, who I'm sorry, I can't really see super well with all this glare. So I'm really excited because I have been kind of wanting him, but I've been only seeing him for like pretty high prices. But then I got him for his normal retail price, which is amazing, and I didn't even think I was going to get him for that. So I'm really, really excited about him. He is super gorgeous. I have been wanting him ever since he came out, but my Briar retail store didn't get him when I was around or came to the store or whatever, so... Super happy about him. I also got this guy who I've been wanting as well, the Celebration Horse for 2017 Briarfest. I did not go last year, but I have been wanting this guy because I really like him. But I just didn't want to pay a super high price for him or anything, so I ended up finding him for really cheap for only $20. So I'm really excited about that. I really, really like him. And as I said, I've been wanting him and stuff, so I'm really excited about that guy. So, so far I've gotten two models that I've been kind of wanting and I got them for really great prices, so I'm very excited about that. And then lastly, this is my last purchase for this night. I saw this guy a little bit earlier today in a room and I was like, oh wow, that's really cool. Like I immediately wanted to pick him up and look at him because I thought he was really cool. And then I was like, nah, I think I'm going to wait and just, you know, maybe, maybe think about it. And so I've been thinking about it and I couldn't stop thinking about him and realize that I need to get him. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense. I'm seriously running on barely any sleep. I don't even know how I'm speaking and functioning right now. But this guy, he's really interesting because I thought he was like completely customized model, but he's actually, I'm sorry, it's actually, I guess, a she, he, she, I don't know. This person, this horse is the signature quarter horse, whatever they're called, the signature ladies, technically, I guess is what they're called, or I can't think of their name right now. I'm very sorry, guys. But it's just one of these guys, which I don't even actually really like this mold too much. But for some reason, the mohair just really makes it. And it's funny because I actually started a custom on a different colored, uh, on a chestnut version of this guy. And was going to do mohair on it because I thought mohair might look good. It's amazing how much this mohair just completely changes the model for me. He looks so cool. Or she, he, I don't know. I don't know why, but I just absolutely love it. He was $50.00. And I just had to get him. I don't know why I love him so much, but there's just something that this mohair did for it that I just adore. So I'm very, very happy that I went ahead and got him and I didn't wait any longer because I really, really love him. Love this gorgeous mane. Just so, so beautiful. So there you have it, guys. That is my Briarfest loot for so far, anyway. On Wednesday, we still have. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to shop around, so we'll see what else I end up with. It is the end of Thursday, and I'm going to show you the models I got today, and I actually thought for a while I wasn't going to be getting really any models today because I didn't do a lot of room shopping in the morning, and then like at night I came back from Walmart and stuff, 
We just opened up my room and a lot of people were there and it was really busy and it was really weird. Anyway, it was really fun though. So these are what I got for Thursday, my haul for Thursday. So I got uh, Toro from Heather's Sales. And he is really nice. He's like a nice dark one, I think. A nice dark variation. I've been wanting this guy for a while and he was a good price. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get him because I've been wanting him for the longest time now to add to my Foundation Stallion Conga. Also for my Foundation Stallion Conga, I have this guy who is one I was kind of surprised to see, and especially for cheap. I almost bought this guy uh, several months ago, and then I kind of regretted not buying him, so I'm really glad I found him again from someone else. But this is one of the factory unpainted versions of the Foundation Stallion. I don't remember when they came out with these exactly and stuff. But I've been wanting this guy because he's kind of cool, and I like these like factory coal like models, even though he's not a factory coal. He's... Uh, he was released by Briar by this, like this, for an event or something. So that's him. So I got two foundation stallions to add to my congas. And then in the room that has Da Vinci Creations, Infinity Briars, and Erica's stuff, and two other people who I, I, I vaguely know, I bought these postcards from Da Vinci Creations. Really cool with his aerial horse custom. A little yin and yang with a narwhal and a unicorn, and then this really gorgeous unicorn image. So I just had to get those because they are so beautiful. And then I went ahead and bought a halter from Infinity Briars as well, because I don't know why, but I really liked this one. I thought it was really nice. And so I went ahead and got that, and I will probably play around with that later and put it on a model. And then this guy is Vahana, a special run from last year. and. I actually saw him in the room next to me for $85 and I was almost going to buy him but we were rushing, going to rush to Walmart because we had to get some things and then we also ate food and stuff. And I was sad when I came back and saw that he was sold of course because the Clarion got busy and he was a good price for $85 so I was a little bummed. I was like, oh man, I, was, I should have got him when I saw him. But then I went into the room with Infinity Briars, Da Vinci Creations, Erica and stuff and uh, Beth was selling him for $90. So I said, you know what, I'd be happy to pay $5 more if it means I get this model that I wanted to get. So he is still wrapped up because I'm too tired to unwrap him right now and show him to you guys, but I will show you later on. So that is my haul for Thursday night. Wow, I almost completely forgot. I also got these five mini winnies. They were only a dollar each, so it was like, cool, mini winnies for a dollar each. And they are like body quality. I'll probably end up having to repaint them or something at some point. But I thought they were just really cute. And I know my mom really loves the mini winnies too. So I thought we could do something with them anyway. So I also got those. Another funny thing I wanted to say that I totally forgot. And I forgot to say it the night before as well. But uh, last night on Wednesday night, the amount of stuff I sold added up to the same exact amount of stuff I bought. Which was really weird because I did not plan that. It wasn't like I was saying I can only buy what I buy money with the money that buy stuff with the money that I sold. I'm sorry, it's late. I'm getting tired. So that was really weird. And then today, I think I bought about six dollars over the amount I sold uh, today. I sold a lot of stuff in my room again, and so I ended up only technically spending eight uh, six dollars or so because I made all the money that I spent on my models. From selling stuff and I just thought that was really funny and really great for me in a way because that means hey more money for next year's Briar Fest as long as I don't spend it all before the end of this Briar Fest. Anyway that's all for the haul of Thursday night. So this is my Briar Fest Friday haul. I did do all my special run times on Friday because that's when all my tickets were. And I also got some things at the Briar swap meet and then a bunch of other stuff here. There's these little unicorn horns. They also have a black one. I don't know why. I just thought they were so funny when I saw them. And it was kind of an impulse buy. This was at the uh, covered arena. Uh, I got a little wind dancer. And a little stable mate. And then I also got this little stable mate custom from someone that was doing like these little $5 grab bags. And so she had this cute little, I got this cute little custom. And then also a full picture, but I forgot to uh, pull that out. And then there was the Instagram meet as well, and I'll show you what I got for the Instagram meet here. I got two awesome pony pouches. 
This is uh, by Emily Elise Summer. This is a little neat little western bridle. Really nice quality. I absolutely love it. And then at Briar Fest, there was a bunch of freebie stuff. So I got a Briar Fest program. I got some Spirit Riding Free posters. Pretty cool. And then a little brass hat card. Spirit Riding Free bookmarks. The little temporary tattoos. And then I got the Briar Fest magnets. I always have to get a Briar Fest magnet. And then these are the Briarfest buttons this year. So unlike before where the buttons were your tickets, this time these are just the little like freebies. So it's just cool that they still have the buttons because I do love the Briarfest buttons. And so for the way of special runs here, this guy was the first one I pulled. I was so excited. I kind of tried to do a live stream actually of me opening him, but it uh, did not work out so good. This guy, oh my gosh, I was so surprised to get a glossy dark horse in black. It was really exciting and also it was just really exciting too to find out that my uh, guess that it was going to be Smarty Jones was correct because I was really kind of thinking oh it's probably not going to be him they're going to do something kind of weird and throw us all off but no he was actually a Smarty Jones and that's really exciting. I love this guy he is absolutely gorgeous. His eyes are really nicely painted and he has some really nice shading. He's not a flat black model, which is so, so good. I was worried they might just spray a thing of black over a horse and call it a day. But no, this guy actually has a lot of like shading and stuff. He's more like a smoky black or a shaded black. And his hooves are striped a little bit, like just striped with detailing. There they go. You can kind of see that. Anyway, he is just so gorgeous and I can't believe I got a glossy one. I'm very, very happy about him. And then the next one I got was actually my favorite color, I think, of the surprises, which is this Appaloosa, Bay Appaloosa, just absolutely gorgeous. I love this guy so much. He's so cool, and I'm just absolutely in love with him. He is amazing, and I'm so happy I got him. Oh, just so, so pretty. Definitely my favorite color, I think, out of all, all of them, but I do like a lot of them. Now I do have another surprise here, but I'm going to be trading it for the uh, Palomino paint with someone later today. I like this guy, but for some reason I'm just a little meh because, I don't know, I feel like Briar's done a lot of these Bay Tobianos that look really similar to each other. So I haven't been like super thrilled on this color right now for some reason. I don't really know why. I mean, regardless, he is really pretty. I still like him, but it's like if I could have him or the... Palomino one. I want the Palomino one, so that's why I want to trade him. But if I was going to like have another surprise horse, I wouldn't mind having him too, but I think I'm not going to buy any more though, so I'm going to trade him later, so I'll show the one that I get later on. These are the other special runs I got. I got Julep and Pim. Beautiful mare. I love her. Super gorgeous. All of these models are also like really great quality from what I've seen. I haven't seen any like major factory flaws on any of the guys I got. So thank you Briar for stepping up on the quality control. Even though I'm not really planning probably on showing many of these models, but it's still nice to have really nice quality models. This little foal is so incredibly adorable. I'm absolutely in love with him. I love these two so very much. And then dead heat here. I got the Palomino one. Fortunately, the person that was doing it lets you kind of pick which one you wanted because you could see through the plastic if it was the Palomino or the chestnut one. The chestnut one is fine. I do like the chestnut one, but I don't like it for the price it is. It's This one was $70, and I don't feel like paying $70 for one that I'm just like, it's okay. So I do really like this Palomino, though. He is really gorgeous. He has blue eyes. He has a really shimmery mane and tail with like that kind of pearly look to it. His markings are really pretty. This Palomino color is just really interesting. I feel like Briar hasn't done something quite like this before. It's just it's just a really interesting color of Palomino. And it almost looks like they actually painted white over the model first before they painted the Palomino color on him because it just got, has that kind of look to it. I think that's what they might have done. Interesting creamy Palomino color. So that is him. I really like him. I'm really glad I got the Palomino one. Oh no, full, full down, full down. 
I'm sorry, my little foal. I did not mean to hurt you. And then lastly over here, for the special runs anyway, is by a nose. And he was the first one I pulled, I tried to get because I knew he was going to be popular and I really wanted him. And actually, I'm sorry, I keep calling it a him, but it is actually a her. This is a mare, which I'm surprised by. For some reason, I keep thinking Dead Heat should be a girl because this, these, the colors they did on Dead Heat just make me think, oh, it's a mare. And this guy, I was just keep thinking he's a stallion, but Dead Heat's actually a stallion and by nose, it's actually a mare. So that's, it's kind of confusing to me because I just don't look like that to me, but that's okay. She is so cute though. I love her colors. They are so wild and crazy. And again, I'm really impressed by Briar's quality. I don't see like a whole lot of overspray or anything. She just looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the markings on her back there. That looks so cool. She is so incredibly pretty. I'm just absolutely in love with her. And now moving on to my Briarfest swap meet finds. So I actually also got another horse from the swap meet, but I decided not to keep him. I don't know. It was kind of an impulse, I think, that I bought him. And I realized that I don't really need him that badly, so I'm going to try and sell him for what I paid for him. But also, I did get a um, t-shirt for uh, almost about that I was holding here. A Briarfest shirt from the swap meet from the 25th anniversary was. Yeah that one. So I'm really happy about that. That's really cool. I do love my Briarfest shirts. These things didn't come together, but I just put them together when I was like playing around at the swap meet with them. But this is the Elegance, uh, Western Elegance Rider in Tack from Briar. And I'm really, really happy to get this because I've been wanting this set for a long time, but I never wanted to buy it and get it with the um, Zippo Pine Bar model that came with it because I just don't collect that mold. So I'm really happy to have gotten her and then this beautiful, beautiful tack set. It's absolutely gorgeous and it looks really nice on JC here. So I also got JC. I like him. He is really cute. He's from the tractor supply thing. But I've been wanting him because I do like this Geronimo mold a lot. So I really wanted to get him. He's, he's really lovely. I really like him. Next to him is Glorioso. I've been wanting Glorioso ever since he came out, but my retailer that I usually go to for Briars never got him in, or they maybe got him in, but they never, but they was like sold out of him by the time I could get to him. So I'm really, really happy about him. He is so stunning. I love, love, love Grey Luz, and his Grey Lou color it is just really gorgeous and kind of shiny. He's got some really nice done barring on his legs. Really cool. I really like this guy. So pretty. So I'm really happy to have gotten him because I've been wanting him and I've been looking for him. So I'm very happy. This guy is a Peter Stone Arab. He was really cheap, so I had to get him. The saddle didn't come with him. I just got the saddle with another, another thing before. So I just stuck it on him. But this is a pretty Peter Stone. He's like kind of a little bit rough condition. He has like a lot of shiny marks and stuff, but I don't really care because I just wanted him for my collection and for like movies and stuff. He's a really pretty like chestnut, chestnutty color with some really nice, nice shading and stuff. I really like him and his face marking is absolutely gorgeous. I love that face. So, so pretty. So I really, really like him. This guy, again, the saddle didn't come with this model. It's just, I stuck it on there for a little bit, but this is a really cool saddle I got though. I like getting a lot of briar tack right now because I'm probably going to end up using it for uh, future future projects I have in mind. But this is a body-ish. He's got some really rough spots. So actually, I'm sorry, it's a she. It's a she. That's cool. Actually, that works out for me more than what I have planned for this girl. So she's a body. She's fairly rough. I haven't decided if I'll like strip her and start her over or just kind of work with what I got on her already. But... She's got a really cute little short tail, too. I really, really love her, though. And I'm going to do something with her for sure. And then I got another ish, of course. I, of course, I had to come home with an ish at Briarfest. I have to come home with an ish and a foundation stallion. That's, like, becoming, becoming my goal for each Briarfest, almost. I have to come home with one. So here's a gorgeous ish to add to my growing conga. I just fell in love with him, and 
I like his little spots and stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I liked him. And I don't think I have one that's a color like this. And that's the other thing, I don't really try to collect any ishes that are already like really similar to ones I already have. I only try to get ones that are colors that I don't have in my conga yet. But I really like him, he's very cute. And so that is it for my Friday Briarfest haul. And then uh, I'll show you my, my Saturday haul. Here is my Briarfest Saturday haul, and actually I actually have two other horses here I will show in a second. So this is everything I got, also a couple like non-Briar related items. So I did get this adorable little stuffed dolphin. I, I love dolphins, and I collect the stuffed dolphins and whales, so I had to get her. She is so cute. I was really surprised to see her just sitting in a box with a bunch of other stuffed animals and I just knew the second I saw her I had to get her because she's so cute so that is her Let's toss her aside so we have a little bit more room to see here I went to the Briar Garland gift shop and they had a bunch of stuff there they have not like sold out really of anything in there I was kind of surprised that nothing had sold out really so anyway though I got this tote bag because I do like my Briar Fest tote bags it's got like racing silk patterns on the inside there, which is really cool. And on the bottom, so pretty neat. I kind of kind of like getting the breakfast tote bags from the years I've been to. I think it's fun. And then I also got from the shop the autograph horse, which is a, a little late. I feel like in order to get him and get autographs on him, you do need to get him like on Friday or on like early Saturday to get him signed and stuff. But I just kind of wanted to keep him as is anyway. I just, I think he's really pretty. I like that he is like, he has a base coat, a white base coat. It looks really cool. So I just, I just like him. So I'm keeping him as he is. I'm not going to have anybody sign him really. He's just, just another addition to my Adios Conga. And then also in the shop, I got a Off to the Races pin, which is really cool. I'm trying to collect all the pins from the Briarfests I've been to, or even some of the Briarfests I haven't been to, because I do collect pins. is mostly Disney pins, but sometimes other pins as well, including Briar pins. So I'm really happy about that. It's really cool. I like the design of it. And then also at the Garland gift shop, I got a t-shirt for my mom, actually. But it's a shirt that has a horse picture on there. It's really cute. So I hope she'll like that. And I think that's it for the Garland gift shop. But I also got this magnet my dad got for me in like a free box thing, so that's really cool. And then, let's see, this guy I got from Wild Horse Studios 16. This is a mini Winnie in a little box, and it was just too cute. I couldn't pass it up for little mini briar boxes. They're just super, super adorable. So that is that adorable little thing. She actually sold all of them, and she just had this one and a bay one left. But I decided to get this guy because I thought he looked cool. It was kind of kind of a weird smoky gray looking color. And then I did get another Briar at Briarfest. Um, actually, two more here. This guy is the one that I traded my bay uh, Tabino surprise for. Like I said, I do like the bay paint surprise a lot. But between this guy or him, I like this guy more, so I decided to get him. And as much as I would like to try and get the other two surprise colors, I think I am going to try and just be content with these three and not spend all my money on the surprise horses. But I really, really like this guy. I love his markings. His dapples are a little meh for me. I wish he kind of didn't have the dapples, honestly. I wish he was just a simple Palomino. But I do like his markings. I like his eyes are really pretty. I love his mane and tail. They got that really pretty kind of pearly stuff going on, like the Palomino Dead Heat has. So I like that a lot. So I got him. Uh, traded for him anyway. And then, what should I go to next? I guess I'll go on with these one more smaller thing before I forget here. This is a little My Little Pony pin. Someone is selling My Little Pony pins, which I have seen around before on pictures and groups and stuff. And I've always kind of wanted one because I think they're so cute. And again, I, as I mentioned, I do collect pins here and there that are beyond just Disney pins. So this was just too adorable. And so I had to get it. It's a pony with a little flamingo cutie mark. 
There was a bunch of other really cute ones there too, but I decided to go with this one. This one was my favorite, I think, of the bunch. And then this guy here, this is Thunderbolt. Now I have been wanting him for a good couple of years now. I almost got him at one point this weekend when he was $35. I was like, that's actually pretty good. I may get him. So I was thinking about it and I was kind of just kept in mind which room he was in. But then I saw this guy for $20 and so I was like, yep, I have to get him then. He's the cheapest I have seen him. I really, really love this model. As I said, I've been wanting him a long time. And he's on the foundation stallion mold. Yes, of course, another another model to add to my insanely growing foundation stallion congas and my ish congas. They're just growing very, very rapidly. And I will also talk about this since it's uh, sitting here. These are just some chocolates uh, my friend Sarah from Model Horse Central gave me. And I believe the Facebook group she runs is called Model Horse Central. You should check it out on Facebook. It's a really cool group. And so she gave me this little little present. She's super awesome. I just love Sarah. She's amazing. And it's sad because I don't see her as much as I used to because she used to live in California. But now she doesn't, so now I only get to really see her at Briarfest. Now there is one more model, I believe. I feel like I'm missing something. So the last thing I have here is, oh my gosh, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit these videos, but I have a little video section about this guy as well, probably in another Briarfest experience video or vlog video or something. I really don't know because I really don't know what how I'm going to edit these videos together into parts and stuff. But I got this beautiful guy. Oh my gosh. I got him as after winning the diorama contest. I forget how many models they give out for each division. I it's it's quite a few. It's not a huge huge amount, but it's quite a few. And so, oh my gosh, I just I'm sorry the 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 lighting in the room is probably really not helping just how pretty he is. We're trying to get something over here maybe. So you can see him. So this is Win Place or Show. I really don't like his name for some reason. It's just kind of a weird, weird name for a Briar model, I feel like. But I do really, really love him. He is so pretty. I like him even more than I thought I would. He is on the boomerang mold, and he is a glossy bay with some really nice shading. He's got a Briarfest 2018 stamp on his belly there. He's just super nice. I'm absolutely in love with him. His eyes are also really pretty. They are painted a nice, nice brown. He is just an absolutely lovely model. I am so, so happy to have him. I was so surprised to win the diorama contest. I really did not expect that I was going to win it. And so this is my new baby and he is actually my officially most limited briar model. I have like a couple ones that are kind of weird, like I have a couple factory coals, but those aren't really like official rare briars. But this guy is technically the most limited run briar horse I have, which is really amazing. And I just, oh, I love him so much. I'm so, so happy about him. I just, I can't even stand it. He's just so amazing. So that is that guy. And that concludes my Briarfest haul for... Saturday. Now I will probably be getting a couple more things tomorrow on Sunday because I do want to get a horse from the Briar store and then I, I don't know, maybe I'll find something else. But I will be hopefully getting at least one more horse tomorrow that I want. Wow, Briarfest has really gotten to me because I just realized I completely skipped over this guy. Yes, I got Spirit, the new Spirit Riding Free version of Spirit. And I saw him for a price I just could not pass up, so I decided to get him. Well, I've been wanting him anyway. I want all of the spirit riding free horses and stuff, but I just haven't gotten them yet or anything. But this guy was just a price I, I, I had to get him. I just had to, and so I'm really excited about him to add him with my other spirit collection stuff. And then one other thing I got, which I completely forgot about because I was wearing it, actually, is I got one of these horse tails because someone has been selling horse tails. They're really cute. And so I decided to get one of these like little short ones. So I'm probably going to wear it tomorrow around at Briarfest because it's just so cute and fun. And I also got the unicorn horns, so I thought I might as well get a tail as well. 
Hello there everyone, this is my Sunday Briarfest haul. Now, I may or may not have more in this haul, it just depends if I do any more room shopping tonight, because usually there are a couple sellers still open, but I don't know if I'll actually get anything or not, but I'll tack that on too if I end up getting something else. But these are what I got at Briarfest. So I went ahead and I got Ichabod Crane. I don't know if it's Ichabod or Ichabod. It's spelled Ichabod, but Ichabod's kind of a more common word. I don't know. Anyway, I got him and I do really like him, I think. He's very pretty. I think I like this new True North mold. It's pretty cool. And I handpicked this guy out to just be like one that I personally really liked with a kind of color and shading. Although they were all really similar. I didn't see any like drastic variations between like light and dark versions of this guy or anything. But So I got him. And I also finally got my three celebration horses. I know a lot of people got these on Friday or Saturday, but I just kind of waited till Sunday because I was already hauling a lot of horses on the other days and I didn't really want to have to haul these guys too. So I got three of them. So that's pretty cool. I probably will keep one in the box and take two out and then maybe etch one one day or just keep them both OF. I don't know yet. But I have those three guys. They are they are pretty nice. They look totally different than the original picture that Briar came out with, but they are really pretty. And then even though I didn't have a special run time, I went after the special run times to get whatever was left over. I really wanted the elk. I also wanted another surprise, but they ran out of the surprise horses, of course. So that was to be expected though, although there was one year, I mean in 2016, they didn't quite run out of them, I don't think, because people weren't as thrilled with them or something, I don't know. But this year they definitely ran out of all of them, they also ran out of by a nose, and then they were almost were running out of the mare and foal when I went through. But anyway, I got the elk because I did really want him, but I didn't get him with my special run times. So I got him though, yay, he is super cute. As you can see, he's still in his stuff because I'll be packing up all these guys in like just a few minutes or start working on it. So I didn't want to take off his antler bubble wrap stuff and then just have to put it all back on again. But you get the idea. I absolutely love him. He is so incredibly cute. He is definitely like one of my favorite Briarfest animal special runs they've done in a while. He's just super duper cute. I love his markings. He's amazing. So I love, love, love him. And then two other little things is the little Maggie Bennett. I can't even think of the word for these right now, but these little guys. I have a couple of other ones from her before from the previous Briarfest years I've been to. And so I actually got this one of these. I think it was this one I got on Saturday, actually. But I forgot to show you guys in that video. And then we're in that part of the uh, haul section, Saturday section of the video. But then she also gave me this one today. And you get these by just wearing a name tag and going to her booth and saying hello and she'll give you a little, a little adorable little thing. I, I can't use words right now. I'm seriously starting to feel the fact that I am tired and haven't gotten a lot of sleep this past week. So please bear with me on that. So I have one last little additions for my Briarfest haul. So I went through the Clarion for the last time pretty much. Pretty much all the rooms are closed and only like maybe 20 or so are open throughout the whole hotel. But someone was selling a bunch of the uh, unicorn stable mates for three for five dollars and I just could not pass that up because I don't even have any of these yet. So I got what I think are my favorites, like my favorite molds of them, which are these little pink Arabian stallion unicorns. There's a little like silver one and then this one is like a green, greenish, bluish one. I don't know. They're really pretty. I actually may go back and maybe get more. I don't know. I may, I may just be done for the night. I'm kind of shopped out, honestly. But I did get those three little guys and I really like them, actually. They're very, very cute. So I'm really happy I picked those up. Here's the little pins I got because I do collect pins as I've mentioned somewhere in another one of these Briarfest videos probably. But here's one that just says Kentucky Horse Park and it's got the logo. Pretty cool. 
And then there's also this really neat, I really like this one a lot actually. This is a Man o War one. It says Kentucky Horse Park Man o War. And then I think it's like 100 anniversary or something. 100, 100 years. This pen I guess was originally from 2017. But it's really cute. I like this one a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all my Briarfest models in kind of, well, as best I can, all together. I could have probably managed to maybe fit them all together on my one table over there, but it still has my sales stuff on it. I don't want to waste time doing all that. So, I'm going to show you all of them. I have ones here, and I have ones in the window, so I'll just be going through and showing you all my hauls from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and excluding possibly any clarion stuff I find later tonight but if I do I will tack that on in the video anyway so I will go through just quickly here my entire haul so I have the diorama contest prize model win placer show I have three of the dark horse surprises the palomino splash the glossy black and the bay appaloosa in matte then I have the palomino dead heat the Elk, I'm not even going to pronounce his name, Ichabod Crane, the Store Special, Brass Hat, the Celebration Horse, and I actually have three of him. I got a little dolphin stuffy in one of the Clarion rooms. And then over to the window here, I have three Foundation Stallions because, of course, I had to get some more to add to my congas. So I have a factory blank that came from Briar. I have Toro. Thunderbolt. Then I have two ishes here, the, the Appaloosa ish and a body one. I have this simple custom mohaired quarter horse guy. I have JC. I have the Briar Elegance Western Tax Set and Rider. I have a Great Dane doggy, some mini Winnie bodies, postcards from Da Vinci Creations, a little custom stablemate full. A spirit riding free spirit stablemate, a little Arabian stablemate, a mini Winnie in a mini box. And behind them is Marcus, new in box, although I'll be taking him out of the box in a minute. Spirit in box and a Briarfest 20. I'm really sorry, the exposure is really off here. And a Briarfest 2017 Celebration Horse Nazaruddin, or how you pronounce his name, I don't know. A Peter Stone Arabian with the halter that I bought from Infinity Briars. Glorioso. Bahana, the special run from 2017. This year's special runs by a nose, Julep and Pim, and then Winner's Circle. So that is all of my Briar Fest haul for Briar Fest 2018. I still bought way more than I was kind of expecting I would buy in a way. But it's okay because I think I will hopefully be able to fit all these in my suitcases because it's not nearly as bad as the amount of models I've bought in like 2015 and 2016. I bought like way too many models then. I bought like what, 40 or something like that? I actually just counted all these guys and realized I bought like 26 of them if you count just the bigger horses, not the stable mates and stuff that are easier to fit into smaller spaces. All right, and this is kind of random, but I just noticed it, so I wanted to kind of point it out or mention it. But I realized that my buy a nose has, it's not really a seam split yet, but it's like, it feels like it's the start of a seam split. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but he has like a line starting on down the middle of his face where his mold was put together. I'm sorry, where her mold was put together. I forget that this is a mare. It's like really hard to see. I will maybe try and adjust it so you can hopefully see it. Oh, you can kind of see it right there. It's just, I'm worried that's going to turn into a seam split. I really hope it doesn't. But that's a, that's a little worrisome. I don't necessarily plan on showing her or anything, but I just, I hope she doesn't have a split, seam split because seam splits are really annoying in my opinion. Anyway, I, I, I love her no matter what. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, I'm worried. I'm worried about that. Welcome to some post Briarfest voiceover action. So here are my models out of the boxes. There's Spirit, he's a handsome fellow. Nazaruddin, Ichabod Crane, Brass Hat, both one and two of them there. And then here is Marcus. 
super handsome. Look at him, he is gorgeous. He was totally, totally worth getting. Ignore Harry Potter playing on the TV in the background there. And then who else do we have here? We have a brass hat, I guess we're not gonna show him. Then uh, I guess we're gonna look at Spirit here. Handsome little guy. And he's got his very prominent eyebrows going on. And here's also Ichabod Crane. What a lovely fellow. Isn't he pretty? Now, unfortunately, he does have a fingerprint in his paint and finish, but you, you can kind of see it there. It's not super noticeable, but otherwise he is in fantastic condition. I really like this guy even a lot more than I thought I would. So that concludes my post Briarfest voiceover segment. Oh, there is my haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my other Briarfest videos. I have a bunch of other Briarfest videos that are either out or coming out. I don't even know yet because I'm not going to be able to work on those for a while. Comment down below which of the horses that I got here are your favorite or your favorites if you can't choose just one because I know I can never choose just one horse. But if you have some favorites of these guys, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! It's the Clarion! Oh my god! This is her amazing performance horse. This is like the best day I've ever had. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Just tons of old iron sides. Oh my goodness. That is so cute.